Friday. Welcome to Africa's best celeb and entertainment scoop with myself, Unomalaga the Flame. I'm ready to deliver you to the weekend, so prepare for takeoff. And this flight is already off to a very turbulent start, so fasten your seatbelts and check this out. It's 2019. It's 2019. As you can see, South African gossip TV host Samara Mangesi was involved in what he called a racial attack last week Friday by an unknown group of white people. He confirmed this inhumane event this week on Twitter, explaining that he saw a group of people stuck on the side of the road and he went to offer help but was confronted by racial slurs, allegedly calling a monkey. Wow, guys, I can't believe that this still happens even in 2019. Anyway, when he asked why they were calling him that, he was brutally beaten and left unconscious for five minutes. He is, however, recovering very well, and we all hope that the full might of the law will take its course for our boy. South African media personality Kate Libonza Mateba is now reigning supreme after she announced her latest upcoming creation, and all I can say is bubbly darlings. <laughs> okay, now picture this, right? A beautiful mogul in a vineyard with barrels of MCC. Yes, it's definitely proud times for this black girl who rocks. Movies, globetrotting, champagne, She's also received a nod from the Global Social Awards that are set to happen in May. This is the year of our queen. American singer and actress Jennifer Hudson has been cast to star as Aretha Franklin in the upcoming biopic, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. And there can only be one Aretha, but after j Hud's recent performance at the Grammys tribute for the Queen of Soul, it's confirmed, honey, it is confirmed. She is definitely perfect for this role. <laughs> The biopic is expected to hit theatres in 2020, and I am all the way here for it. Congrats, Jennifer. It's the Barbados babe, Rihanna, is back with music. Literally, I was tingling when she confirmed that she has finalised her brand new album. Now, after three years of selling us cosmetics and all of that glorious stuff, she's returning with tunes that will get us to work and for real. But guess who heard her ninth studio album first? Obviously, it's her best friend's toddler. He's such a lucky big bundle of joy, man. He's so cute. But judging from his facial expression, I don't think we're ready for the Caribbean queen's apocalyptic storm. I don't know about y'all, but I'm strapped up and ready to get down like it ain't no thing, honey. Bring it, Rihanna. We are ready. Today's Friday Flame was introduced to us as a thin, lanky musical hopeful on Botswana's singing competition, My Star. Life for me, baby. But now, all those ladies in the audience seats are going to have a very different reaction when they see this improved and Greek-bodied Botswana musician, Kennedy Tao. I mean, did y'all see the before and after? I think we can all agree that the major difference is uh, a thumbs up. Anyway, this singer and songwriter who has a finalist on the singing competition is living his best life on islands. Obviously topless because when you've got it, you've got to flaunt it, honey. Plus, he keeps mesmerizing his fans with his best tunes. Consider me officially enthralled. Y'all better diarize this flick with Batty John Travolta and Mr. Goody Two Shoes, Denzel Washington, this Sunday, the 17th of March at 8 p.m. CAT, only on BT Africa. What a fab Friday. Thank you so much for being part of the best TV family in Africa. Make sure you stay tuned right here. For more exclusive content created just for you. Otherwise, me and you are still on for this Monday at 5 p.m., right? All right, then. Enjoy your weekend. Bye, honey.